Welcome back. We are ready to continue working on the pattern we created for this pair of ankle socks. In the previous video, we started our pattern and we completed rounds one, two, and three working top down on our trees. Now we need to work on this round. So let's see. We will start with two white, three gray, three white, start over. If I start over, I have two more white. I don't want to carry gray across more than three stitches, remember? So that means I do two, three gray, three white, weave, two, three gray, three white, weave in the back of the work. You will remember I call this twisting of the yarn when we carry in the back weaving because it is very much like weaving things together. It's not the professional knitter's term, but I like to use it because I find that in the beginning, when you're first learning this skill, it helps because it helps you remember what and why you're doing when you're carrying the yarn in this way in the back of your work. Let's begin round number four of the pattern we created for ourselves. We see here that we had two white stitches. We need two more white stitches. so. We do gray over white, put gray down, pick up white, and let's work two, three gray, you will notice that in these um, introductory videos. I'm not talking a lot to you about how to hold the yarn for color work. If you're doing this for the very first time, you will want to experiment and find what it feels like for your fingers to hold the yarn in different ways. In one of the future videos, when we do some more complicated color work, we will look at some specific ways that can be helpful. So I completed two, three, three, weaving in the back. I started again two. Three. Three. Let's weave in the back, start the next line. Now notice here how I pushed my stitches back before weaving so that I don't get the tights crunching up behind. Two, I push my stitches back, now three. Just two gray, one more gray, three white, push your stitches back, you weave again, two white, push stitches back, I'm pointing this out not to annoy you, but really to make sure you remember that pushing the stitches back will help you avoid getting too tight in the back of the work and will help you create a nice flat design.
we have gone one time around. We completed the fourth line of the pattern. Now we have the fifth line of the pattern. One white, five gray, two white. Notice that now we will be weaving white behind the gray. You can do it after the second or the third gray stitch. So it will be one, one, two, three, weave, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, three, weave, one, two, one, two. Let's begin this round. Notice how here I had three white stitches graze all the way back here. I want to weave before I go on. You can say twist, you can say carry yarn on, you can say lay over. There are so many ways to say it. Mostly, I want you to remember you're weaving it in so that you don't have long loops in the back and you're stretching your stitches so you don't squish it. One, two, three gray. One, two gray. Push your stitches back to white. Okay, start the new line. One white. One. Pushing stitches back every time you switch the color. Two, three, pushing stitches back every time you weave. One, two, push stitches back, nice and stretched. One, two, start the line again. One, one, two, three, weave, one, two, one, two, start the line again. One, push stitches back, one, two, three, one, two, Start the line again. One, one, two, three, weave, one, two, one, two. We have finished one more round. We are now right here, right here. Now we need to do the sixth line of the tree pattern we drew. This will be the same as the first and the third. We have three white, one gray, four white. Remember, we carry after two, after two. Let's begin. You carry over the collar by weaving it in the back. You stretch the stitches as you go around so that you don't squish things together and you make them lay nice and flat. Here we go. We have two stitches of space we need to carry yarn over.
One, two, three, one, one, two, pushing stitches back always, weaving, one, two, we do this four more times. We have finished the sixth row of the tree pattern. We are ready for the seventh row. The seventh row will be the same as the fifth row. One white, five gray, two white. We want to weave in the back carrying over the yarn after either the second or the third gray stitch. We have two stitches to come over, so we want to weave. And let's begin.
we have finished this round, the seventh round of the tree pattern. Now we have the eighth round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven gray, one white. So we will go one, two, weave, one, two, three, weave, one, two, one white. Let's begin. You can sometimes just put the yarn up like this, knit below it, then put it down, knit above it. You have achieved the same effect without having to get everything off of your fingers. If you don't feel ready to try this, don't worry, just keep doing what we have been doing so far. We have finished the eighth round of our tree pattern. We are right here, ready for the base of the tree. The base of the tree is knitted the same as the tip of the tree. So we have seven white stitches and one gray stitch in the middle of the tree. We begin with white. And we will be weaving the gray as we go. One, two, three, one gray, one, two, three, one, two, Three, four,
Mm -hmm. If you notice that you didn't knit that one gray, go back, knit it, and then continue on. Make sure not to twist stitches. Always stretch the stitches, make sure you're not scrunching things up. Okay, the round is complete. Let's check our pattern. We finished the tree. Now we have one line of only white. So we just knit one line of white yarn. We want the gray to go over white before we begin. Like this. Put it down and let's knit one round. Okay, we finished this white round in the pattern. We finished the trees. See, this is where we are in this sock. Now we are ready for the forest floor. We will do that in the next video.